Why, hello there, friends. Seth of the Cygnus LPs, and today we are playing some more of the collection of what you would find in Kirby's Dreams. Yes, Kirby's Dream Collection. Ah, oh, yeah, let's get started. We've got some normal challenges going on here. We're not doing normal challenges. What am I talking about? Let's us go on and do what we are doing in this episode, which is Magalore's Race X. If you're wondering what Magalore's Race X is, probably something that is going to be exponentially harder than Magalore's Race. Let's begin. Alright, so Magalore's Race X. Let's do this. The extra Magalore race in which the final stage of the Magalore race is so hard that you might think he's unbeatable, invincible, like he was last time, which he really wasn't. Didn't really add much to his toolkit last time, regardless. But all of the copy abilities are yours to choose from, so help yourself. Alright, so you get the choice of whatever which one you want. This stage doesn't get the X title for nothing. It is not just extra hard, it's extreme. Oh boy! Exponentially harder? No. It didn't like my version better. Alright, regardless, I don't know which one we're gonna take. Um, fighter? I don't want one that's going to be too problematic in the sense that it's going to slow us down. Which is one of, one of the main things, so it's, I guess, really all dependent. I should probably take Sword, but I've took that before. Fighter, why not? Let's see, let's see what we can do with Fighter, friends. Let's do this. We're going to fight our way to the top. Not beat up Magalore, of course. Well, this, this, it's not even fighting. Why did I take fighter? I'm not fighting. I'm racing. Why couldn't I take racer? Ha <laughs> ha! All right, so this is what we're doing here. Okay, so it actually takes him a bit of time to react to that kind of thing, and I don't think I'm going to be able to win at this point. Might as well retry the stage right away. I'm figuring that it's going to be extremely hard in the sense that you're not even going to be able to win if you get hit once. Which is pretty ridiculous considering you'd think that would be the condition for something like getting a platinum medal, but apparently not. Apparently platinum medals are the tip of the iceberg with this. And by that I mean the non-tip of the iceberg, because, you know, it's the tip of the iceberg. And by that I mean the tip of the iceberg. I, that's what I meant the whole time. I just didn't know it at that point. Kill this thing, kill that thing, and keep going. Uh, you know what, I do think, indeed, that Fighter Kirby might be one of the Kirbys that is going to cause more trouble than he's going to do good. I could have got that gold, but, you know, getting the gold things are really not the extreme importance here. I think it's more about beating him. Oh, crap. See, yeah, he does go a lot faster in this one. And that- Whoa, 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 whoa. That was not funny. Alright, Megalore wants to play dirty. I guess we're just going to have to clean up his act. You know, that pun made sense, but then I realized that the water Kirby wasn't a part of the choices. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to continue on this way. Run over these things this time, because I'm pretty sure that is what you are expected to do, if not. I implore you to do that, is what I'm trying to say, because or else you're going to get hit. And this guy is still going ridiculously fast, regardless of whether or not I did that right or wrong. So perhaps there was no right, no wrong, just... Just gongs! Go that's not a gong, that's a cog. There's a difference. And this difference could be deadly if I do not keep moving. Alright, so, oh crap, that, aw, oh, darn, you have to pop that thing to get there. I doubt I can make this now that he's that far ahead. But, you know what, let's try it. Let's get a, what? What? He beat that, the goal? What? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. You didn't tell me the goal was that close. Okay, well, it kind of did because if you looked at the top of it. No! No, I don't accept this. I, 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 I rematch. Rematch. Let's do this. Alright, so. What Kirby will I rematch with this time? Uh... How would Whip Kirby work in this? <laughs> Apparently he doesn't. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna smash right through that finish line this time. With Smash Kirby. See, that one made sense. Ow. Okay, maybe not. What? That, that, oh, what? I want a replay. I want a replay. Kirby versus Jerk Sword Guy. Ready, fight. Your swords have no effect on me. No, don't walk into me. That's my ultimate no. weakness. All right. Oh crap! The the Gordo Gordos. I do not. I do not need you right now. I, I can't cut you in half. So sadly, you guys are not on my priority list right now. Well, to be fair, maybe that's why we're losing. My priority list is cutting people in half, where it should be winning. Ugh, anyways. Let's destroy this guy once and for all. But again, destroy- why would I destroy him? I just need to beat him in a race. Come on, Kirby, this is- I, I realize now why we're losing. Your logic is faulty- your logic is faultified. 
Alright, regardless, apparently faulty logic is going to make us jump back like that for no apparent reason whatsoever other than to lose the race. You're great, Kirby! You're great! Love it. Unless I just wish I wanted to lose that way. Perfect. I'm gonna be honest with you, I feel like it would have been a more intuitive boss interface for this game if all of the races were this hard. Like, I, this is kind of fun, I'm not gonna lie. Like, it's not, like, the kind of tough where it's like, Oh, I'm so frustrated and this makes me angry and I don't want to do this anymore. It's like actually a kind of fun type thing. Regardless, I believe Kirby would rather be cutting things right. That's ridiculous, Kirby. You're losing just because of that. You're hey, Kirby, what? Just as soon as as soon as we get on the subject of cutting things, you're just like, I want to destroy things, and then you just die. It's, it's crazy, Kirby. It's not. You're not gonna win a race like that. Why are you even racing? Well, if we learned one thing today, it's that Kirby has a one-track mind. Even though if it was the one track was a race track, then maybe we'd be able to do something about this. Ah, uh, anyways. Now that I've destroyed these bomb things here, I gotta- Crap, crap, this is how we lose, this is how we lose, this is how we lose, Kirby. You lost because of that, I just wanna point that out. You're, you're, you're gonna- do you wanna be a loser? Is that what you want? You, you don't wanna be a loser, so let's go. And- oh crap, he's, he's catching up, but we actually didn't lose yet, we're still- oh, we're gonna win- what? We're, I win, I win, there you go, alright, now, now you can- now you can cut him up. Come on, he put- now, now you can- now you can destroy him! Like, Come on, it's like, you, you won the race, now you can <sighs> I was really hoping that he'd kill him. <laughs> Anyways, I'm actually really close to silver with that, that is kind of disappointing, but, hey, it was... Actually, it wasn't that difficult. I should go back and get the silver. Yeah, regardless. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was the final Maglor race. As you can see, he is now completely and utterly defeated. He now realizes that we are the champion of the world, and that if we really wanted to, we could, uh, hint, hint, Kirby. You could, uh, cut him now. You know, you lost the race, like, five times! Because you didn't want to... Whatever. Apparently, he doesn't want to cut things anymore. He, he, he got a taste for victory. Anyways, return to the map. Let's do this. Returning back to the map, I was hoping that Magalor would get his just desserts for putting us through this crap, but regardless, apparently not. He's going to get off scot-free again, other than the fact that he tried to steal the crown and destroy the universe, and still somehow we're, you know, just okay with that. We're just gonna race him in a foot race, because, you know, that's what friends are for. Ah, aim. Yes, Kirby's Dream Collection is pretty much completely concluded now. I hope you enjoyed this little mini-series, and I will probably display to you some more Kirby's uh, Dream Collection in the form of the Kirby's History thing another time, if you guys are want that. I mean, I don't see why not. But regardless, for now... You know, I really have no idea what I'm doing now. How, how do you- how do you end an intro? This is the end of the game, but there's no credits, so I don't- You know, I did- Cut- cut the-